Hello Absurdy fans and welcome to the Mana Bar. In the latter stages of 2013, for no discernible reason, one game online took the world by storm. By all accounts it shouldn't have. Gameplay was minimal and ultimately a lot of people were wondering why. And the game of course was Cookie Clicker. I've played Cookie Clicker and I had a Good time with it, I'm not gonna lie. You start out, and there's just a cookie, and you click it. That's that's what the game is. Basically, it's how many times you can click that cookie. And then you unlock things, like you unlock a second cursor that automatically clicks the cookie. And it just keeps building up. And you can unlock more things. Suddenly you've unlocked grandmas who bake cookies for you, and you're suddenly selling your cookies around the world. And you got this news ticker across the top that just says like, Various hilarious, various hilarious, that's pretty cool, but various hilarious news titles about how many cookies that are being sold and like celebrities are endorsing cookies and like some of the stuff you can unlock is ludicrous. You can unlock antimatter generators that convert actual matter or antimatter into cookies at like vast rates. It's insane. And so I thought, let's make a cookie cocktail. And how am I going to do that? And then, it came to me. So I welcome you to the Cookie Clicker Alco Shake. Let's get started. What we're going to need for the Cookie Clicker Alco Shake is some vanilla ice cream. Now you can use other flavors, but bear in mind that since we're using cookies, if you use chocolate, it may be too overpowering. If you really, really like chocolate, go for it. I can't blame you. But I'm going to be using vanilla, and I've just got a Hagen dazs because I needed a small container because there's not much room in my fridge or freezer, and Hagen dazs is just really nice. You're also going to want to get out some milk, and of course, the cookies themselves. Now you can use, again, whatever cookies that you want. I've got these Maryland cookies that don't actually come from Maryland in the US, I found out, which is really disappointing. And then, to make it alcoholic, you're going to want to get a chocolate liqueur of some kind, and the one I'm going to be using is Bailey's Chocolate Luxe. This became available fairly late in 2013, just before Christmas in the UK. I don't know if it's available worldwide, but this is so rich, and I like chocolate stuff, but this is so rich that I couldn't drink a glass of it, so you cannot drink this on its own. If you can, kudos. You uh, probably have various types of diabetes now, but this is awesome stuff to put in things. I thought it would go perfectly in this milkshake. So I'm going to be using this. You can use different chocolate liqueur. Uh, I've got the Thornton's chocolate liqueur that I've used before in other videos. I could have used that, but no. I wanted to just get in some of this fancy stuff right here. And finally, we're also going to be using just a little bit of vanilla extract. And so, I think it's time we put this all together. We're going to start off by putting our milk in, and you're going to put in about one cup or 235 millilitres of your milk. We don't have cup measurements in the UK, and I didn't know what that was, I had to look it up. Now, depending on how thick you want your milkshake to be, you can either add more milk to make it less thick, or more ice cream to make it thicker. So just play with the quantities until you're happy with the consistency. You can always add more, but you can't take it out. So start small and go bigger. We're then going to put in two decent scoops of our ice cream, and I've just got a little spoon, I don't have a proper ice cream scoop, so I'm going to be trying to get as much as I can with this thing. Now luckily this has softened a bit, so it's easier for me to scoop. There we go, there's one. And there's two, nice big decent scoop. I might add a little more actually. Again, it's entirely personal preference, so add as much ice cream or as little ice cream as you want, and just have fun with it. This is a fun drink to make. I'm gonna put this back in the fridge before it completely melts. Now with your chocolate liqueur, Again, it's completely personal preference, and it also depends on how rich, or creamy, or light, or whatever your chocolate liqueur is. This is very rich, but I can see we've already got quite a bit of uh, ingredients in there, so I'm going to put in 
two, three measures of this. Remember, you can always add more, but you can't take it out. So again, sparingly, and then add up if you need to. I'm going to go for two and a half, just looking at how that's going so far. I think two and a half will probably be fine. Then you're going to grab your cookies and put in about four, maybe five. Again, depending on how thick you want it to be. More cookies equals thicker. I'm going to go with five, just because it looks like it needs another one. Plus, I really like cookies. And then just to top it off with a little extra bit of flavour, we're going to put in just a teaspoon of vanilla extract. Now that all this is in here, we are going to pop the top on, like so, and take it over to the actual blending unit and give it a blitz. Just blend it on if it's got a drink setting, whatever blender you have, use the drink setting or milkshake setting if it's really fancy and got one of those. But just make sure to blend it until it's as smooth as you want it. So we've popped that on, it's on the drink setting, and I'm going to blast it now. Let's see where we go. Once it's all blended together, grab whatever glass you want. It's a milkshake, have fun with it. If you have a problem with milkshake glass, go for it, do that. I've just got this one, I think it's a fun little glass. So, it's time to pour into our glass. And there we have the Cookie Clicker Alco Shake. I think this has come out really well. It's given me a chance to use my new blender. I'm very happy about that. So let's give this a go and see just how delicious it is. Mmm. Oh. Mmm. <laughs> that is gorgeous. No, I absolutely love milkshakes anyway. But now that it's got this lovely chocolate liqueur in it. It's just a little bit extra chocolatey and richer, and it's also alcoholic, so you can't complain. But, oh, that is gorgeous. Super happy with how that's come out. So definitely try this out for yourself. Make sure to wipe it out of your mustache as well if you've got one. <laughs> so this has been a roaring success. I urge you to try it yourself at home. But in the meantime, I've been Rich Ferry, this is the Manabar. Cheers.